Hello, and welcome to a statue review for the Popper Parade King Chasma from Summer Wars. This has been something I've been anticipating for quite a while. I've been a big fan of Summer Wars ever since it came out, uh, and I've always kind of wanted something King Chasma related because I really love his design. Um, and for years, I kind of procrastinated. There were a few statues around, but they were pretty pricey. And then one day this guy went up for order and he was an instant pre-order. So I finally have him, uh, I've kind of been sat in there for a while, but today I'm finally opening him up. So before I do open him up, we'll take a quick look at the box and then we'll get into it. So there it does say King Kazma, uh, and that does say Summer Wazu. Uh, that is the name of the movie. Highly recommended if you haven't watched it, it is a great movie. It's not 100% different from... Um, the Digimon uh, movie, our war game, uh, or just Digimon the movie in the West. Uh, that is the back, that is the side. As with all pop-ups, uh, it is pretty straightforward packaging. We've got his like colour codes and stuff at the back. This is a huge box, I'm barely getting into frame, but once we free him from his prison, he'll be smaller. So, let's go ahead and do that. All right, we are back. I've unpacked him and put him on his base. So, as usual, it's time to take a look at the finer details. So, first off, I've got to say, I'm very impressed with the base. So, um, if, you've, if you yourself own any popper parades, or if you've seen my other reviews, you'll know that traditionally they used to come on big, like, round hexagonal bases that took up a lot more room than the statue itself did, which kind of led to, you know, not a lot of room being available on display cases. Uh, this, however, is a very nice change. You just got a fairly minimal base. Now, I appreciate, obviously, not every statue is like this. I guess if they're in more dynamic poses, you're going to need a larger base. But I'm very appreciative that Pop-Up did this for this uh, solid black base. Uh, so, as you can see underneath as well, he is anchored here via three prongs in each foot. Now, I did have a bit of an issue, actually. When I tried to put him onto the base, uh, his feet were slightly too far apart. He was about a centimetre or two away from the holes on either foot. Basically, I could put that one in, but that would be too wide, or vice versa. Um, I mean, he went in, I, he just had to, like, hold it and then push it down. Uh, and he seems pretty stably in here. So, that's cool. Also, I've noticed, I don't know if this is um, part of his outfit. Or it's just something they have to do for the statue, but he's got like a weird like metal flat plate there and two sort of heel things. I don't know if maybe his pose is meant to be, you know, he's on the like tips of his feet um, and this is just how they anchored him. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on to the details. So first up, I've got to say, I am very, very much digging the shoes. I can't remember if I picked up on this in the movie, it has been quite a few years since I saw it now. But he does indeed have the Kazma logo as on his shoes instead of like... I don't think that's Nike, is it Fila or something? It's like an old kind of sport brand? I can't remember, but he does definitely have that drip. Uh, unless the shoes aren't cool anymore, in which case he doesn't have drip, I don't know. But I am digging the details that have gone all the way down to the branding there. Uh, right, then moving on up, he's got his kind of jeans, I guess they are, I, I think they're jeans. Um, and then all the way up to his belt, which has Oz on it. Oz obviously being the uh, the world that the sort of virtual people, um, you know, live in and stuff, or the avatars. Uh, and round there we do have his fluffy rabbit tail as well, kind of blowing dynamically in the wind. Uh, along with sort of details of his belt. Uh, I want to say as well, he got this belt because he's like the number one ranked fighter, right? I think, in Oz. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, though. Maybe he like he won a tournament, but he's no longer the best. I can't remember. Um, but then we go up to his red bomber jacket. Uh, it is very shiny as well, which I always appreciate. Pop-up are always very good with making their materials stand out paint-wise. All the shiny stuff is shiny and, you know, all the matte stuff is matte. And he's even got a little zipper here, uh, kind of blowing in the wind. You'll see these in better details in the photo montage that's coming up soon. Uh, then we've got 
up to his kind of his torso you don't see a lot of but I mean it's it's plain white he's he's a white rabbit and then we go up to his really really cool gloves very kind of inspired by like Jin from Tekken and other such things uh, yeah these gloves are really cool he's got the like metal I think it's metal anyway uh, kind of cuff parts here and the two I, I could never work out where these are meant to be. I know they're kind of like bolts or whatever, but I don't know if they like aid in his punching ability or something. And of course, he's, he's got like metallic gloves underneath the top of these gloves as well. So yeah, overall, he has some really cool uh, clothing going on, along with his cool Digimon-esque uh, goggles. All the protagonists of Digimon seem to have them, and so does he. I don't actually know if he ever wears he puts the goggles on in the movie. Um, but, you know, again, it has been several years. And, of course, we've got his really cool modelled face. Uh, very, very, you know, anime protagonist kind of uh, anger going there. And then he's got his kind of spiky hair. And I'm going to have to tip him over a little bit. And he's got his ear tips uh, as well, which are kind of... I thought they were metallic for a second. No, I think they are just black and stuff. They are like segmented, so I don't know. Obviously, being an avatar, he's not really an actual living animal, so it might just be the you know sort of his uh, yeah his ear tips are just kind of crazy like that. But yeah, overall, he is a very very well detailed uh, statue. So, it is now time for me to delve more into those details with a photo montage. So here that comes. Alright, I am back and I've taken some photos. And honestly, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with the detail on this statue. Um, if you've seen Summer Wars itself or Hosoda's other movies, you'll know that he does tend to go for a bit of a simplified look with characters. They're all very like clean and not all that detailed. So when I pre-ordered this statue, not really having looked, you know, super in-depth at the photo, I just kind of knew what it was, you know, he was. I mean, he is a fairly standard, in terms of design and stuff, character. But honestly, I was really, like, won over with the little Kazuma things on his shoes and the Oz belt and everything. It really, like, ties it all together. And, yeah, honestly, I think he is a very striking character. Um, I know the whole, like, anthropomorphic rabbit isn't exactly a new concept and stuff. But I think he's got a really interesting design and I think this, because it's sort of like almost perfectly parallel and is very kind of neutral, this would look really good as like a centerpiece to, um, you know, display if you're not going for like a particular series. Now, I do know there is a Kazuma um, Nen uh, Nendroid pop-up parade, which is the IRL, um, you know, creator of King Kazuma. He's cool, but I'm not crazy about his design. He just looks like a teenage boy, really. Um, whilst I love the movie, the thing I loved about it was the character designs, not necessarily the human designs, if that makes sense. But I will definitely be putting him pride of, pride of place on like a shelf dedicated to like a variety of series and stuff. As I said, there's not a ton of other... There's the squirrel. I think they made the squirrel. And maybe he comes with Kazuma, or maybe he comes separate, I can't remember. And there is the gold guy as well, his opponent, and I can't remember his name either. Uh, it has been several years. But, regardless, I'm rambling now. I am incredibly happy with the statue. I think, if you're a Summer Wars fan, this is the most affordable King Kazuma has ever been. There are one or two other older statues, but honestly, it tends to be anyway with statues. The newer they are, the higher quality they tend to be even if they're like a lower price point so i am incredibly happy with this 
but yeah thank you guys very much for watching let me know in the comments if you own him or any of the older King Kazma uh, statues or any of the other pop-up summer wars um you know I am kind of curious I don't think I'm gonna end up buying any but you never know maybe I'll see them for a good price or something but yeah that about wraps it up thank you guys very much for watching I'll leave you a playlist for my other statue reviews in the corner then I'll leave you to choose another video there and until next time Goodbye.